Welcome to Off Grid Contract. Guys, today we're doing the second portion of the wind power install uh, on this mount top install. Now you can check in the iCord link above Tony's uh, website, his YouTube also, of the initial work that they done putting the tower up. Guys done a phenomenal job on that. Um, what I'm gonna let Tony show you and then I'll take you a walk through of it in a minute is just uh, let him tell you about this wind turbine board um, that's going on here. Yeah, um, uh, today I'm Tony with Hurricane Wind Power and uh, we have our control board up and um, today we've got uh, checked on the anemometer about 7 mile an hour wind up to a gust of about 15 and uh, this wind turbine isn't broken in yet but you know we've got our diversion load here mounted on the board coming in. Lucas has done a fine job putting this in conduit. Uh, coming into our controller, we've seen uh, we've seen numbers up to 300 when it gusted. The wind turbine really isn't broken in yet, so that that usually takes a week or so. Um, he's done a fine job with this disconnect in here for safety, uh, and you know that's that's basically it. So when this thing runs for just a while longer, we'll give it a couple weeks, and we'll come out here and check the output. And, Hopefully we'll have some big numbers to put up and show you guys. So, and on one last note, I mean the board is going to be available on our website as well, and uh, we'll have a brake switch coming soon to go in the board. So, um, check us check us out on the web at hurricanewindpower.com, um, Vector XP, and our control systems. Thank you again. Here you can see the uh, final product in action. There. About a year ago i'm still doing optimal power for the customer beautiful mountain views and everything with the rain and uh, just i mean they done a superb job on the turbine and uh, we'll look more at the wiring in a minute but i'll just take you out here and show you just how quality the mount is and the service access and everything there you can see the service access how it comes out goes down into the pad and then follows the transit behind the solar itself uh, into the structure, which is now well grown back in, and you can't even ever tell. And here's the transit. Um, in the original video, as I mentioned already, you can see where that the solar originally came in uh, to the structure. Now we have the wind power uh, coming in and going to the unit, and here is the disconnect for it. Um, later will be added most likely uh, we were talking with the customer today um, we're probably going to be coming back later putting a uh, specialty disconnect here uh, there's some readouts real quick though the wind is actually coming through the trees today um, and the wind is actually coming directly through those trees so it's cutting back on a lot of the output um, but anyway the Disconnect for here, a safety disconnect that'll be put in place later. And then here we have for the offset and then the drop down into the battery bank. And now, of course, it's raining right now, but the charge controllers and everything's still humming right away. Um, also, here's the final mounts on the fuse blocks and everything. And I've got to put these wires out of the way where we were working earlier now that we rearranged some stuff, but. Uh, put that in like a, a cover or something later but anyway that long story short guys uh this this customer's been running now with our off-grid power for a year and uh, beautiful beautiful setup on the mountain out there so i'm going to take one last step out here and um, just point out a couple last things and um if you're interested in doing wind and solar together, if it, you know a lot of customers, and forgive me because it's right coming a rainstorm right now. If if you're doing it like this customer done, you know the solar first, and then they done the wind later. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't mind coming back and doing, uh, you know, a multi-construction um, project because the end results turn out beautiful. You know, I mean, this is one of our favorite installs, and you know, I'll be thrilled to death to work for you. Um, 
you tell us what design you want, we'll do our best to make it happen. This is one of the most custom designs I've ever seen. Um, Iron Ridge, uh, we got with them on that and everything. Um, Tony done a phenomenal job getting everything, every bolt nut screwed together for me. And uh, we really finally got this down to the size we enjoy. This customer's just been phenomenal to work for. And until we see you in here at Off Grid Contracting, make sure to check us out at offgridcontracting.com. And I look forward to working for you.